Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to ask you guys a question. Can we build roads in Jamaica that construction equipment can drive on? Or more specifically, the roads done by local contractors. Are they up to a standard where local or where heavy equipment can drive on them. Now, the reason why I ask this question is because a lot of times we show videos of roads and the roads are damaged and a lot of times the comment we get is when they finish construction they'll fix the road. What I'm asking, should we not be building roads of a certain standard that heavy equipment can drive on them? No, I'm not sure how it's done in other countries, but let's look at the Rogers apartment building, Waterloo Road, or Waterloo Avenue. The road is literally destroyed and we keep we make videos and we said you can check out the video to look at the road billion dollar high-rise buildings going up yet no roads and the comment we always get is when they finish construction they'll fix the road but I'm asking how is it in other countries like the US Canada England when they're putting up a building is the road that the construction equipment drives on to get to the building or the road outside the building the construction site is it destroyed or do they build the roads to a certain standard so that that equipment can drive on the road and it doesn't damage the road now it's not only waterloo road it happens all over jamaica you have roads you build them a year later potholes, base that, yet the roads built by the China Harbour Engineering Company, Barbican Road, Constant Spring Road, Hagley Park Road, three miles overpass, they don't have potholes. Look at, okay, I'm going to give you an example. Barbican Road, they're building an eight-story building right on the main road. The heavy equipment have to drive on Barbican Road to get to that construction site. Yet Barbican Road is not destroyed. Constant Spring Road. You have about four buildings going up. You have the Chemtech building going up. You have a plaza going up just down the road. You have um, a lot of other construction on that road. Heavy equipment has to drive on the road to get to those buildings. Yet Constant Spring Road is not destroyed. Those are just some examples. Yet the roads done by local contractors, you drive heavy equipment on them, the road disappears. So I'm wondering if the roads are not being built to the correct standard. So I'm asking, how is it done in the US, Canada, UK? Do you see, like outside these construction sites, the road is totally destroyed? I'm not sure. And who, well, to say who is supposed to monitor the standard of these roads, I'm not sure. Well, let's not go there. But this is something I've noticed. A lot of the comments are when the road is finished, when the construction is finished, they'll fix the road so many times we get those comments so guys what do you think do you think the roads are being built to the correct standard because as we said the roads built by China have engineering company construction is going on on those roads yet they are not damaged the main roads so and there, there are many other examples of the roads look at the southern coastal highway look at highway 2000 i mean heavy equipment has to drive on that road while it's being constructed even after they put on the asphalt and it seems fine so guys let me know what you think leave your comments in the section below this road that we're on is actually one of them built by china harbor engineering company 
And if you look at it, this is actually a constant spring road. No potholes. We passed one of the construction sites earlier and we're going to be passing the Chemtech building on the left. You can actually see it now. And look, no potholes. That's the Chemtech building they're building on the left and we passed a construction site earlier. All right, guys, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. All right, guys, have a good day. Thank you.